Hey everyone, Josh Nesser, and today we're in S'more, which is in Southern Missouri Off-Road Park, and this is going to be an epic day. We're here, and we're going to be doing the Badge of Honor Trails, so we're going to do Pee-wee's Crossing and Guardrail, and I've been told Guardrail is pretty hard right now, so I'm a little bit excited about it. If you missed any of our early adventures, we started out in Arizona, did Backway to Crown King, and a few other trails, headed over to Texas to Big Bend National Park, had a blast there. Then we ran up to Hot Springs and ran the three different Badge of Honor Hot Spring Trails. Worked our way from Hot Springs here to Missouri, and now we're ready to get wheeling. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to this video, like it, and comment. Then, well, let's get going. So why don't you sit back, stay tuned, and enjoy this video. So the first trail we're going to do today is Pee Wee's Crossing, and this is a cool little trail. And I was told it's mostly uh, intermediate. Well, we just got started, so let's see what it's like. So Dan Cope from Mid-America 4x4 joined us again for the trip today. He's going to be our trail lead. Well, we made it to the beginning of the trail. It's time to get going. We just got to, we just got to the gates, as you can see. Let's get moving. So the trail starts out in a very wooded area. And Dan started to tell me more about this trail. On the creek trail, so I tend to stay in it as much as I can. There's a few spots that the creek's just too narrow to get through. And you do have to hit the little bypass, let's say. But other than that, I like to stay down in it. So for my first impression on this trail, it's a really awesome trail. It sort of follows this little creek. Um, there is the occasional optional obstacle. You can sort of follow the creek in spots. A lot of fun overall. Very beautiful. I can't imagine this trail during the summer or even the spring when it's full green. I mean, it's beautiful right now. Is that beautiful Midwestern trail, which is like that oak, uh, shaded oak. Just beautiful. We're moving down the trail. I can't wait to see what's ahead of us. Stay tuned. After a little taste of Arkansas, we're getting a little more daring and want to do some of the harder stuff. So we decided today, we're not taking no bypasses. We're going to do all the hard obstacles. It's going to be a fun day. So the trail starts out and sort of just a rocky creek bed. It's mostly dry, a little bit of moisture here and there. But it didn't take very long. And all of a sudden you started getting puddles and then a little more water. And then we were here at this large waterfall. to the first big optional obstacle. This is what people say is the major obstacle of Peewee's. Kim's lining up right now to do it. Let's watch her. Start straightening your wheels up when you come down. Good job. Using those skid plates. Slow down, slow it down. Good job. You made that look way better than Dan did. <laughs> so there's two very noticeable things that are different with Kim going down it versus Dan. And that was how well the Falcon tires stuck. She didn't slide at all. Two was the gen right rear bumper was so tucked into the body that she didn't even touch it when she dropped down. Jennings just barely touches it and she has the same bumper. Well now that Jennings is down, we're going to get the rest of the group down. Keep going down the trail. Let's get moving. Okay. All right, go and hard turn it now. Coming down now, okay? Coming down now. There you go. Get you a gen right bumper. Need to get him a gen right bumper for sure. We're, so we were able to get everyone down the waterfall. There's basically two lines, and this is optional. I'm walking down the easy path, as you can see. Um, there's a far right, which is a twisty line, gets you close to the tree. Then you have a left line, which is what most of our group did, which is drop off the ledge. Um, I'm always more about dropping off ledges than I am twisties, especially close to trees, especially in my JL, because I have no interest in uh, scratching my Jeep. At least this one. J CJ, who cares? I don't care if I roll it. I don't care if I damage it. That's, it's a toy. Well, we're moving down the trail. Let's see what's ahead of us. Mm -hmm. 
As we were going down the trail, the water was just getting slightly deeper and deeper and deeper. It was really interesting as this creek just sort of came out of nowhere. I did pay attention to the side of the cliff holes and you could actually see springs feeding the creek that we're going down. It made it really unique and it might be half of the reason why this trail is just absolutely amazing. But overall, this is such a cool trail. We're having so much fun. The scenery, the wheeling. I want more. I'm definitely going back for more of this trail. So right when I didn't think this trail could get any cooler, the creek bed went from my gravel to what looked like a solid sheet of limestone. And the whole creek bed was like that from here on out. It was so amazing, so cool. I've never done anything like this. And this is definitely one of the highlights of my off-roading career. The scenery of the trail was amazing, and I just kept looking around and enjoying it. I was actually happy that I was passenger on this trip, as it allowed me to enjoy the absolute beauty of this trail. Dan then jumped on the radio saying he knows of a really cool spot just up the trail to take a photo. And this was a cool spot, we could easily fit a large group in this area for an amazing photo. So we just got off the trail and that by hands down has been my favorite badge of honor trail so far of all the different episodes that we filmed. I would come here again just to do this trail and I would drive a distance again just to do this trail. That's how good of a trail it was. It was absolutely legendary scenery and I couldn't imagine what this is like in spring and summer when it's just fully green. It's probably 10 times better. I'm telling you right now, if you live within a thousand miles of this trail, Get out here, do this trail. Well worth it. Well, we're gonna work our way around the park and head over to the guardrail, which is the other badge of honor trail in this park. So uh, let's get moving. <laughs> 